at the Shipley Art Gallery and we've came to have a look around. We've had a look around this room and we've seen artwork and china, pottery and everything. I like this statue because it looks really cool. Which one? Number five. It's a ball in its fran French. It's gold and it just caught me eye. And that's the first thing I went to. This is called Anne Chez and it was made in 2009. What do you think? It looks weird, the way it's made. I like it because it's not like any chair I've seen before. I like it because it's got like old people in and it look, it, it, they're eating KFC which is new. If you had to choose this one or the chair, which would you choose? The chair. When you look at it, your eyes go funny and sometimes you have to look away from it because it looks like it's moving really, really fast. From afar you might just think it's quite an ordinary chair. But then it's only when you get close up to it and when you take a really good look at it that you can see that there's an, almost another chair trapped inside. I like the chair because it looks creative. I think it would be really uncomfortable. I think the chair looks entirely decorative. Can you tell us a bit about the artist Gareth Neal? So Gareth Neal is a furniture designer. The types of um, furniture that he makes combine traditional woodworking skills with computer technology to make the work. The chair that you can see within it, the go almost a ghost chair, is of a Queen Anne style. And so you've got these two things meeting each other. You've got the contemporary and the historical coming together in one piece of furniture. On the TV it shows you how the chair was made and what it was made out of and how the artist made it. I've watched the video, but I'm still not sure how the artist made it. I think that it's been made out of little bits of wood all stuck together. You can see that it's getting smaller and smaller the further you get down. It's not a chair that you would have in your house. We've decided to display the chair on higher plinth, um, so you don't find the chair on the floor as you would in your own houses and I think that really elevates it so it gives it a feeling of it being special and different to, all, to regular chairs. Gareth likes bringing the old and new together because the craft that he's actually working in, furniture making, is a traditional craft but he wants to update it for, um, for today.